Suratul Ikhlas. In this episode, I will show you how to recite this Suratul Ikhlas correctly with Tajweed Inshallah. I will show you the pictures so that you can easily understand where the letters exactly pronounced from. My dear learners and viewers, before I start, I'd like to share you some of the very important hadith which I found in Sahih al-Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, Tirmizi, Sunan al-Darimi and Tafsir ibn Kathir. I am very fascinated by all of the ahadith which is mentioned regarding this Surat al-Ikhlas. After reading this hadith, we can understand how important, how virtuous the surah, the Surat al-Ikhlas. It is stated in Sahih al-Bukhari and Muslim, narrated from Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, Ba'asa rajulan ala sariyatin. Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam appointed a man in charge of army unit. Yaqra'u li ashabihi fi salatihim biyakhtimu qul huwallahu ahad. This person lead their prayers. In his prayers, he always concluded his recitation with Suratul Ikhlas. When they came back to Medina, they stated the situation to the beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Why not ask him why he did that? Li ayyi shay'in yasna'u dhalika. When they ask him, why he always concluded his recitation with Suratul Ikhlas? He replied, لِأَنَّهَا صِفَاتُ Rahman. In this Suratul Ikhlas contain attribution of Allah the Gracious. Because of that reason, I love to recite this Surah in my prayers. فَأَنَا أَحِبُّ أَنْ أَقْرَأَ بِهَا I love to recite this Surah in my prayers because of that reason. After understanding his intention, Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Akhbiruhu anna allaha yuhibbuhu. Tell him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. Subhanallah. My dear viewers, we can understand from this hadith, one of the sahabi, he loves this suratul ikhlas so much because of attributions of Allah, he loved so much that he used to conclude his prayers with Suratul Ikhlas. Subhanallah. Because of that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves him. So we can understand from this hadith the importance of Suratul Ikhlas. Let me tell you another hadith which is also mentioned in Sahih al Muslim. Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala anhu. أَيَعْجِزُ أَحَدُكُمْ أَنْ يَقْرَأَ فِي لَيْلَةٍ ثُلُوثَ الْقُرْآنِ Is anyone of you incapable of reciting one third of Holy Qur'an in a night? Sahaba رضي الله تعالى عنهم replied كَيْفَ يَقْرَأُ ثُلُوثَ الْقُرْآنِ How can we recite one third of the Qur'an in a night, Ya Rasulullah? Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدٌ تَعْدِيلُ ثُلُوثَ الْقُرْآنِ Surah Al-Ikhlas is equivalent to one third of the Holy Qur'an. Subhanallah. My dear respected viewers, my dear respected learners, from this hadith, we can understand the Surah Al-Ikhlas is one third of the Holy Quran, Subhanallah. If anyone recites Surah Al-Ikhlas one time, their reward will be equivalent to reciting one third of the Holy Quran, Subhanallah. If anyone recites three times Surah Al-Ikhlas, their reward will be complete one khatam of Holy Quran. Let me tell you another hadith, which is mentioned in Sunan al-Darimi. Very authentic hadith. Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Man qara'a qul huwa allahu ahadun ashara marratin banallahu lahu qasran fil jannah. Whoever recites Surah Al-Ikhlas ten times, only ten times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build a house for him in paradise. Wa man qara'aha aishirina marratan banallahu lahu qasrain fil jannah. Whoever recite this Surah Al-Ikhlas 20 times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala build two houses for him in paradise. 
ومن قرأها ثلاثين مرة بنا له ثلاثة قصور في الجنة. Whoever recite this Surah Al-Ikhlas 30 times, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala build three houses in paradise for him. Subhanallah. If anyone recite only 10 times or 20 times or 30 times, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala made houses in paradise. Subhanallah. So easy to build houses in paradise. Only reciting Surah Al-Ikhlas. After listening this hadith, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu asked, Ya Rasulallah, if we decide more and more, what happened? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Allah will have more. Allah will make more houses in paradise. Subhanallah. My dear viewers and learners, we can understand from this hadith how easily we can build houses in paradise. Very easily. Surah Al-Ikhlas, very short surah. We can easily recite 10, 20, 30 times. Within 5, 10 minutes, we can do it very easily. Now let me tell you another hadith from lot of the ahadith, which is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari, narrated from Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. إِذَا أَوَيْ إِلَىٰ فِرَاشِهِ كُلَّ لَيْلَةٍ Beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he used to go to bed every night, Jama'a kaffayhi thumma nafasa fihi. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam put his hand together and blow over it after reciting Suratul Ikhlas, Suratul Falak and Suratul Nas. And then he used to rub his body as much as possible. He started rubbing his hands from head, then face, then front side of the body. يَفْعَلُوا ذَلِكَ ثَلَاثَ مَرَّةٍ Prophet of Allah, he used to do it three times in every night. It is stated in another hadith which is mentioned in Sunan Abu Dawood and Tirmizi, narrated from Abdullah ibn Khubayd radiallahu anhu. He said, Bilal Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam instruct him to recite Surah Al-Ikhlas and Mu'awwidhatayn. What is the Mu'awwidhatayn? Mu'awwidhatayn mean protection from Allah, which is two surah, Suratul Falak and Suratul Nas. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa instruct him to read Suratul Ikhlas and Suratul Falak and Nas every morning and evening three times. Whoever does this act in the morning and evening, Prophet of Allah said, Takfika min kulli shay'in. It will be enough for everything. My dear learners, my dear viewers, we can understand from all of the ahadith, the Surah Al-Ikhlas is very important surah in, in the Holy Quran. If you want to save ourselves from harms of jinn and insan, we should recite these three surah in the morning and evening, or when we go to the bed, we should do it. Because Prophet of Allah, he used to do it and he instruct us to do that. My dear learners and viewers, if you want to learn more, if you want to study all of the ahadiths, if you want to study more about this Surah Al-Ikhlas, I would ask you please take a look at the Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Inshallah, you will find all of the ahadiths there. My dear learners, I hope you understood how much important, how beneficial, how rewarding the Surah Al-Ikhlas. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us all tawfiq to recite this Surah Al-Ikhlas as much as possible. I seek refuge to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from harms of evil eyes of jinn and insan. Now I'm going to show you how to recite this Surah Al-Ikhlas correctly with Tajweed inshallah. Please listen to me carefully and repeat after me. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul huwa Allahu ahad Qul huwa Allahu ahad Qul huwa Allahu ahad Qul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad 
Allahus Samad. In this verse, the letter of Saad. The letter of Saad pronounced from tip of the tongue, passing sound through top and bottom from two teeth. From there, three letters pronounced from Za, Sin, Saad. When we pronounce, when you pronounce any one of these three letters, make sure the sound should be buzzing or whistling sound. These three letters is called letter of Safir. So when we pronounce these letters, make sure make it buzzing or whistling sound. Let's practice these three letters. Za, za, zi, zu. The letter of sin. Sa. Si su letter of sword. Sa si su. Let's practice it. Allah Samad. Allah Samad. Lam Yalid Walam Yulad. Lam Yalid Walam Yulad. Walam Yakullahu Kufu Wan Ahad Walam Yakullahu Kufu Wan Ahad Mashallah, you have practiced it nicely. Well done. My dear learners and viewers, I hope you understood how to recite this Suratul Ikhlas perfectly. I hope now you understood the benefit and reward of reciting Suratul Ikhlas. There are a huge number of hadiths has been mentioned regarding this Suratul Ikhlas. It is 